Hello everyone, um, I never expected I would make this video, but, well, I'm making it, so whatever. This is a tutorial on how to use Drumpad Machine. Make sure it's developed by EasyBrain, don't download the wrong one, and let's get on with it. These bottom three squares, well, will always start off as a 3 by 4 grid. Always be like this. And there's A side, B side, always two variants. So these bottom three are is they're always going to be the base. No matter what, they're going to be the base. Some they'll have different sounds, different tempos and stuff like that. So yeah. So we have the kick the hi-hats and you have your snare there's different styles you can do you can do these in like this there's a lot And depending on the genre or you know how it's played out these will the the order in which you will have to press these and it's a tutorial yes there are tutorials will be different so here I have dubstep club you see you may see that some of these are color-coded it is meant to be this way some of them are spread out and random, some of them are more coordinated like this. These four will indicate the kind of the dubstep like sounds. And the game will, well the app will tell you what order to press these in like this. So that's basically kind of like your leading melody. And here, you have the support sounds. These are usually used during, before, or the end. So in this case, with this one right here, this would be used before. Here would be used during, and these three, Will be used after. Let's uh, head over to side B, please. Now this one is a little different. Hold on. I think you're starting to see some sort of pattern. I'll just play some sort of tune for you now. Shoot. Yep, that wasn't perfect, but... Well... Wasn't perfect, but... Yeah. You can change the tempo. And each song has a stamp, like, kind of like a set tempo. So, you can place one right here. delete each one. There is also a record button. That's how I make my songs. 
so yeah that's the sort of the end of the tutorial I suggest you download the app yourself and give it a whirl bye bye